Hello, my team video. Today we're gonna to take a look again at another new legendary which just got released, which is going to be the Lunala. Lunala is a very cool Pokemon here. We're going to have a psychic and ghost type with the move Confusion, a Moonblast, and Shadow Ball. This is definitely a better Pokemon to use in the Ultra League compared to the Solgaleo a little bit earlier. And also, yeah, like most, most likely not going to be better though than the Solgaleo in the Master League. It's just typing wise, it's a little bit better here. We see some spicy picks here from the opponent sometimes which i also can appreciate to um at least have some more i don't know interesting spicier stuff to look at as well but um also a ton of full meta teams which is totally fine and it actually went a little bit better than earlier with the Solgaleo, which is also kind of cool, most likely because some people ran a little bit more of a non-meta team, but still, if you enjoy this video at any point, I would appreciate a like, helps out a lot. Currently, it's a little bit tough here with Pokemon Go, as the interest currently isn't as big anyway, but we see an opponent coming in here with an Hydreigon, and we're going to see that we're going to be locked into this one here. This is not a good matchup. They sadly shield the Moonblast, and we have to go into our Charm user. If they're going to go for for the um, flash cannon, I have some problems here. Yes, I don't know if I can get two moves still with my Pokemon in the back, but they only have Dark Pulse. And what I can try to do here is go for the Cross Chop, looking if they had the Flash Cannon, if I would have won this, but I guess I wouldn't have won this. But yeah, still, as they don't have that good game there, we will see an opponent here with the Charizard on the lead. Charizard here has Hexes to the move Dragon Breath, which is neutral, it generates energy as fast as my fast move does, but they are of course going to go for the Dragon Claw here, which is a bait and is enough basically to get the shield here already from me. But Confusion does a little bit more damage to them, which is nice. I'm going to let this move go through, I think, I'm out, and I'm going to swap out now into my Obstagoon. We see a Buzzwall coming in. Maybe I should have swapped out, I guess. I will be able to go for one Night Slash. This will also generate the boost here, which is nice. And we will be able to go for one Night Slash here as, as well again. As um, we will see here the opponent going for one move against Lunala, trying to get rid of the energy from the Lunala. And um, yeah, like they're going to be able to you know, go for two lunges against the Lunala, which is nice. As the Ninetales gonna farm it down, and we will see here the Charizard coming in, which will farm down by Charm there. We will see the Giratina coming in here as well, which seems to be at least a decent matchup. But against Giratina, it's sometimes a little bit tricky if they run the Ancient Power, which a lot of people do, do nowadays. This matchup isn't as clear as it was before. In Ancient Power, thanks to the boost, now it's going to do a ton of damage. Is this going to be enough to knock out the opponent? Will we, will be, will we be able to win this game? I cannot even talk anymore. We will not be able to win this game. Is this Ancient Power going to knock the Ninetales out of here? We see um, the next battle coming up here, Lunala into Lepros. This is not ideal, but we have two good ants in the back with the Obstagoon. Mr. Mime is coming in here. Oh, what a nice spice pick. Like, if you actually XL your Mr. Mime, you definitely very, very, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Okay? Like, honestly, Mr. Mime is, is, is definitely a cool spice pick. I really enjoy it. This Pokemon actually has access to a Psychic and Dazzling Gleam, so I'm going to have to shield this move up. But it's actually a Pokemon that I also kind of wanted to um, already power up to like uh, the XL level there because he just reached it, which is kind of hilarious, but my opponent here did it, which is cool. I would be able now, thanks to the boost, to completely destroy my opponent here. I do not really want to do this here yet. So I'm going to do here is I'm going to let this move go through. I would have been able to knock out the Lapras super easily, but and I wanted to take a look a little bit more at Lunala here, so I kind of want to go into this one. Going to swap into my Ninetales here, trying to catch the move. I will not be able to knock them out with my Ninetales, but I hopefully will be able to knock them out later on with my Lunala. Trying to get the shield here with my Weather Ball. For whatever reason, I go for the Weather Ball instead of the Psyshock. Don't know, but we're going to get the shield here anyway, which is amazing. We will be able to go ahead and farm them for most of the time down there. They're going to go for one Surf, which will knock me out. I can go into my Lunala, and at least we can take a look a little bit at this Pokemon again. We see here Surf coming through as we're going to see them kind of forfeiting here, I guess, as we're going to see the last Pokemon coming back in. I kind of want to just take a look at the animation here for Moonblast for this Pokemon, and we will see here that this is going to hit. Next opponent, we will see um, Runala against Swampert. This is definitely a pretty awkward scenario here, to be fair. Swampert is pretty decent against the entire team. Um, you will be able to go for one Hydro Cannon here. This Hydro Cannon will do some nice damage. Shadow Ball coming through here now. This should 
do enough damage to knock them out, of course, but they're going to shield this move up. Hydro Cannon going to get shielded up here as well. Maybe it's an Earthquake as well. I think they had enough energy for it. We see the um, Poison type coming in, and this was the main idea anyway for this team. You're going to have a hard answer for any Poison type in the lead because you're going to be able to resist Poison type moves while doing super effective damage as well against them, which is amazing with the Lunala. But um, here we're going to be able to get out the poison type from the opponent, which is even better. And we also will be able to just take this move here, go into the Lonado now and try to farm it all the way down. And we get rid of this poison type for our Charmies on deck, which is the main idea here, which works out pretty well. As we see the opponent coming into the Swampert again. Um, they're going to let this move go through here, which is fine. Hydro Cannon coming through, and you will be able to go into the obstacle and go for the Night Slash, trying to knock out the opponent's Pokemon here, which is going to be the Swampert. One more counter would be enough, but we see another Lunala coming in, which is hilarious. Lunala is four times a week against the Night Slash, as you can see here. They did a little bit of a damage there, and we see also the Swampert going down now to one Charm, and that's going to be a good game. Next opponent, we will see here... Um, Lunala against Alakazam. Alakazam has access to counter. They need, I think, eight counters to get to the Shadow Ball. This was only seven counters, I think, or six. So this is going to be a Fire Punch, which is still going to hurt a lot. Um, I cannot really swap out here in general as there is an obstacle in the back and there is also another Pokemon that's weak to Fire Punch. So like swapping out here doesn't really help. We will be able to shield up this next move here and we can see that um, this farm down will be enough as this fire punch is going to get shielded. We see Giratina coming in. One Shadow Ball will do a ton of damage against Giratina and they can swap out now into the Obstagoon as um, Obstagoon has of course a very decent matchup here. But because they're staying in here, I think it's a little bit tricky to think maybe I have something else weak to Obstagoon in the bag. Is it really worth it to now get Obstagoon that low? Do you really want to throw the Night Slash way earlier? You have to throw, I think, three night slashes, which is kind of insane. Yeah, you have to three, you have to use three night slashes. It's a step dark type move from a Pokemon that's not completely bulky either. So like, it just shows how insanely overpowered Giratina Origin is in this meta. You just take those moves like a champ. You still nearly got the obstacle low as well. As this next night slash going to knock it out, and we see a Mewtwo coming in here. It's a shit Mewtwo. Um, as the swap failed here, we will see the side strike hitting, which doesn't really matter too much. As this Night Slash going to be able to hit this one more. Again, a spicier battle here, I guess. And two more confusions will be enough to knock out the Mewtwo. Next opponent, we will see Lunala against Surfaged. This is a very good matchup, but also Surfaged has access to Night Slash. One Night Slash would knock this Lunala out immediately. But we will see here the Stun Fist coming in, which is amazing, as you can go for some cross chop damage here with the Obstagoon. Obstagoon will do a nice amount of damage against this one here. And we will see no shield coming up, as there's already one shield spendant here. It doesn't really matter to lose Switch Avenge against like fighting types in the lead, because you have two good fighting type answers, which is amazing. We will be able to now not knock out the opponent's G Fisk. It will survive with one HP in a dream. You will be able to take this Earthquake and again it doesn't really matter if you realign or not. We see a Steelix coming in here though which doesn't really like to take the Shadow Ball I would say and they will take the Shadow Ball which still actually did less than I expected. I actually thought that Shadow Ball would do way more because you're way more attack rated but I guess it doesn't and we see a Surfage coming in which is going to get charmed down. We see the opponent coming back into the Steelix and in hindsight I would say that was actually a not the right call to go into the Surfage there. I know like Surfage going to die anyway somewhere, but you're going to hit so many um, Psychic Fangs still. I would have waited a little bit and hit like more Psychic Fangs so you'd lower the defense and then you will be able to do more damage with the counter. So that would have been maybe the play there, but Psychic Fang on the shield here right now as you're going to be able to go into the Lonala. And this Lunala will take the crunch. You still should be able to get to one icy, what's called ice weather ball there anyway in time. And this will be enough to knock out the opponent's Steelix. And this will be a good game. Next opponent. Who is next? Who is next? I think we already battled them, right? I don't know. Maybe they 
Try to battle twice. We see a Trevenant in the lead. Maybe that, but try to battle twice. I don't know. Trevenant is, of course, not ideal for us as we see the Skunk King coming in here, which is at least okay. We don't really want to face the poison in the bag there with our Charmer. So it's fine that um, this poison comes out here against the Obstagoon, especially as we have Cross Chop and especially as they don't shield any of the moves. Could have went for one move here, but again, like they could have also just thrown the move and I think they lost CMP. So. Um, weird that they throw us so late. We will see the Traveling coming back in here, which is a sign that they're double weak to Obstagoon, I guess. And we see a boost coming in here from the Obstagoon. Maybe shielding here would have been the play, but I'm not sure as uh, we will see the opponent staying in here. They're going to have to take one Night Search. They're going to shield this move up. And they're going to catch the next move here on a Drapion, which is definitely... A little bit tricky. Um, we see the Night Hits coming in now. Draping can has access to the Sludge Bomb. Not everybody runs it, but we're going to shield here just to be safe, I guess. And the Sludge Bomb going to get shielded, which is nice. One IC, what my IC went one. A Weather Ball Eye is going to come in here, and we see the opponent now only having that Trevenant left. Is this enough to win the game though? One Trevenant against three Pokemon looks fine for our side. I think so, at least. We see the Seed Bomb coming through, and we will do CMP here, so we kind of have to swap onto the charge move, and we will swap onto the charge move. Seed Bomb gonna get caught here. Can we still farm it down though? That's the main question here right now. As we will not be able to farm down, the fast move of them is super effective, and also this move will come through before, and they're even going to go for the flex here with Shadow Ball. That's hilarious. As we see the next opponent here coming in. Do not like it, Spacham. Very good lead here. As we see the opponent coming into our muck. They can go for the Obstagoon now. Obstagoon has access to Cross Chop, of course. And we will see here that Acid Space coming through. And you can go for one cross chop here right now cross chop will be a very nice move for the muck here as muck will be able to take two actually still but you can farm them down in time if you want to and they have a lot of energy here right now lose cmp which is kind of annoying and there's most likely an acid spray but they actually go for the dark pulse which is a smart move because dark pulse will take more energy but also will do more damage even though it's resisted instead of neutral but Acid Spray is just so weak. As you see, Acid Spray is coming in. And we see a Snorlax coming in here as well now. Snorlax will have to take some moves here from the Ninetales. One where the ball's coming through. And I'm curious why they don't really want to swap out yet. But um, for this matchup, Snorlax charge move don't do any damage towards the Lunala. But of course, Lick is double or four times super effective against Lunala. So it's going to do a ton of damage, especially with a Shadow Bonus. Um, so it's kind of curious if... We can still win this game there or not because leak damage going to add up, but the charge of damage doesn't add up. But yeah, you see the leak damage coming through. Does a ton of damage, but not enough to knock them out before the Moonblast is coming through here, knocking out the opponent's Snorlax. And we can go into the final battle here. Lunala against Obstagoon. Horrible lead. We're going to swap out immediately into the Obstagoon. Just as this is basically the best possible save swap for me now. We see the opponent coming into a uh, Cresselia. Cresselia is a very neutral matchup against Obstagoon. It's not, neither good or bad. It really depends on the situation and how you play it out. They're going to go straight for their um, charge move here. One more Knights is just coming through. This will not get shielded, of course, either. And for whatever reason, um, this is going to be shielded now. Seems a little bit weird as they're going to be able to survive this next charge move anyway. We see that coming through now. Going to get shielded as well. And we see that we're going to shield here again. And now we're shieldless, and the opponent still has a shield left, but we can go for one more Night Slash. This Night Slash is coming through as well, still no boost for whatever reason, by the way. And you can farm down the Cresselia, and you will be able to realign, and we see a Sylveon coming in. After the horrible lead there, like, you will be able to actually at least realign the Obstagoon against the Charmer, which is nice. We can still go into the Lunala against the Charmer here. And you will be able to go for one Moonblast, which would also cover for the potential swap in of the opponent's Obstagoon, but they don't swap in there. And we're we'll going to the Nine Tails here. We will be able to farm this Pokemon down here, and we should have a great time unless the opponent runs the move Hyper Beam or Gang Shot. Let's see. Weather Ball is coming through. They're going to farm up a ton of energy here. Is this going to be the Gang Shot or the Hyper Beam? Um, it is just a night slash and we will be able to win this game. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and I hope I see you on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.